All right, in this video, I'm going to do a cutscene. So I have my little character here. I have a timer down here. At 10 seconds, we're going to do the cutscene. There we go. So I thought that would be pretty cool. And then we can maybe on another video add it to a start button or add it to a part you press and then you zoom in on a monster being released or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. So let's go ahead and get a fresh world and I'll show you how to do this. All right, so I have my fresh world. Let's go ahead and make a cutscene. So uh, it needs to be a local script because it's going to be playing on the client side. And I think I'll put mine under starter player scripts. But if we do it with a start button, we'll probably do it under the starter GUI at some point. But right now, let's just do a local script on starter player scripts, which is in starter player. And I'll call this cutscene. Right? Maybe make this a little bigger so you can see that. Cool. Yeah, I'll make that a little bigger. Go ahead and get rid of your hello hello world statement let's see what do we need to do let's get our players service so we'll say players game get service i'll say players and let's get a local player so i'll say local player players dot local player that should work let's get our camera whoops spelled local wrong camera workspace and eh, current camera and I'll make a function called move camera. I'm going to pass in the character because that's what I'm going to use for my um, start and end point. Is, is I'm going to reference it to the character's humanoid root part. For now, let's just put a print statement in there. So if we can see, we get this working. All right. Char name. And we want the name to print out. So because we're not like using a start button or anything like that, let's go ahead just hook it up to character added character added connect function char gets passed. the character gets passed in with the character added and then we'll we'll just wait a couple seconds maybe we could do a little for loop so we can get ready for it i equals one two say five seconds in steps of one wait one second and then print i equals we know when we get to five i probably should have done a countdown that we're going to do our cutscene. so let's go right under that and we'll do move camera pass in the char and the reason i gave it a little bit of time because i wanted i wanted the character to enter the world because we're not using a um, we're not using like a start button or a or a piece in the world to do the cutscene. let me get rid of this so we could oh well we want to see that let's per, let's try it we want to see our countdown and get ready. Now it's not going to do a cutscene. It's only going to it's only going to print the character name. But I want to make sure that that's connected right. So three, four, five. There we go. Character added. Simtech Gamer Seven. Cool. So we know we got this thing working. So it's firing. Let's add to it. Let's go ahead and get the camera to look at us for three seconds, right, with no movement, just to try that out. So I want to get a reference to where my camera is starting. So I'm going to say start camera C frame CF. And that's my, oops, that's my camera C frame I want. There we go, camera C frame. And then I'm going to get the humanoid root part of my character, char. I'm going to do a wait for child, even though I don't really need to because we're doing that loop, but just for safety, wait for child humanoid root part and then let's go ahead and get our camera let's let's change our camera type so camera type oh and that would be a good thing that we could do right down in here instead of a for loop we could cut we can keep trying to change the camera type until it's until it successfully changes like i did in the start button um but that's all right we, we can maybe on the next video we can do that so camera type, scriptable, this should be fine. No problems. Now let's make a C frame, we'll call it C frame one. And we're gonna use our humanoid root parts C frame. We're gonna multiply C frame new, zero, zero, negative 10. So we're gonna shift this C frame, negative 10 studs in the Z, right? And then we wanna flip it so that we're actually looking at our character because we're using our character C frame. 
So we need to look at us by flipping it 180 degrees. So I'm going to use the C-frame angles. I've got to make this smaller so I can fit it all on. All right, that should work. Zero, and then math dot pi is 180 degrees in radians. I'm going to make that even smaller. Here, let me move this back. I want you guys to still be able to see it. That should work. Yeah, so 180 degree um, math dot pi is 180 degrees in radians. This takes radians, so that should flip it so that we're it's the camera is looking at us. All right, and then we'll say C frame. We'll say the camera C frame is now equal to C frame one. Let's wait three seconds, and then we'll set the camera back. I always hit that. There we go. We'll set the camera back to what it was, and that was the start camera C frame. Let's just wait a second. Oh, we don't even need to do that. Let's just convert our camera back to the camera type. Camera, camera type equals enum camera type custom, and that's what it normally is. So that should, let's try it. That should, um, all of a sudden flip around, look at us for three seconds, and then go back. So there we are. Here's our countdown. Four, three, or yeah, there we go. Boom, we're looking. Boom, it's back into where it was. Cool. Let's add some movement. Let's do a zoom in on us. All right, so let's go back to our cutscene. Now we got a lot of stuff already. The only thing we really need to add, we need tween stuff. We need two C frames, right? We need the start and the stop. So I'm gonna copy this. Do control C, control V. I'm gonna make this CF2, right? And what I'm gonna do is CF1, I'm gonna start further away. I'm gonna start 150 studs away on the Z axis. And then I'm gonna zoom up to the 10, right? And I'm gonna do that with a tween, right? I'm gonna use the tween service. So I'll do local TS gain get service, tween service, and then do a local tween, tween service create, and we'll put this, uh, what is it? We're gonna use a uh, camera, camera. I need a tween info dot new, do two seconds. And then we're going to tween on the C frame of the camera to CF2. Cool. Now, let's play our tween. Whoops, not tween info. Tween, play, and then we'll do this to wait until it's finished playing. So there's a tween, and this is a dot. I always put a colon there. Completed, and then we'll, we're, that's going to pause the script until our tween is completed. Let's get rid of that so you can see more. Uh, we're not going to need our three seconds anymore. And I think this will do it. I think we're good to go. Do we really need five seconds here? That's fine. Let's just keep it there. And we can view our output. Two, three, four, five. Zoom. There we go. That's pretty cool. And then we just flip back to normal. So if you wanted to pause and you wanted to look look at the guy for a second or two, just put a little weight down here underneath. You can't, if you, you're not gonna be able to put a weight in here. This is basically saying, hey, let's wait until we're completed. Just pause the script until we're completed. If you wanna wait a little longer, put like a two second wait here. Then you can try it. And there he is. One, two, three, four, on five. Zoom. And then it looks at him. And then we go back. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, I will see you in the next video and we'll do some more cooler stuff, like maybe zoom in on a monster or something. We step on a trap.